Hello everyone and welcome back to another trolley action featuring the best boys get silly and Sif Scott. Hello! And this time I'm gonna be reacting to some great news by Falcom Exceed. Um it's it's a great time across the board. I heard and NIS is here too. Where every everyone is here who helped made uh a game that we deeply love and looking forward to that comes out two months from now. Wink wink, wink wink. <laughs> so if you want to know what that yes. is uh check out the video as we get started uh, be sure to subscribe to the channel hit the bell as well be notified to go live for content and we'll see you in the trailer reaction wait a new trip oh god okay they're remaking yeast no more okay. <laughs> my name's Adam. yes wait he talks adult talks oh god voice acting now they're wait adult talks Thank you very much for saving me. Wait, 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 wait. <laughs> They're doing a remaster, and we get a classic version, and the base version, and voice acting. Oh my god. We just have it all. <laughs> oh my god. This might be the Kofi. This might, this might be the Kofi I'm talking, but they're going to remaster old games. Uh, Remaster Yeast Origin, that's, that's a free... If you could do that, would make me happy, but Scott, yes, knows, please. What we, Scott knows what we want. Please remaster. We go. We want trails in the sky. We oh, want we trails in the sky. Oh God! <laughs> they already have a step. They already have all the voice actors because we heard them in Reverie. Oh God! We have them already. Reverie and the ones who aren't in Reverie are guess what? In Daybreak. God, it was <laughs> we so got the whole lineup. <laughs> we literally do. Like, look, I understand it would be painstakingly because there's a lot of code. There's a lot of code in that game. But if you could just. Do it for the homies. We're the homies. Please do it for us. We'll be all right. <laughs> this is something I never thought would be possible because Exceed and Falcom had a falling out, so to speak. <laughs> yeah. But now it looks like things are on the up and up. Yeah, I, I feel I, I feel like to be super fair, I think it's probably a good idea to use the company to use a company that is already that has I believe you know that's been using your old property to sell it, whatever, to just make a remaster of it. Because they can make more money, you'll make more money. Rather than just add more to, uh, not to be mean, to the, N to the NIS uh, uh, canon of work they have to do. My God, the amount of work these people <laughs> do is crazy. They only had like five Trails games in like five years or something like that. <laughs> plus their own games. Oh my gosh. Plus their own games. Oh yeah. <laughs> plus the merch sales, plus upkeep their store. Oh god, I believe they also they I it's been a while no, they do. They do attend gaming conventions and anime conventions. I'm like, they're doing a yep. lot of work out yep. here, man. It takes some stress <laughs> take some stress off though, please. <laughs> you go to like PAX and they're gonna be at Anime Expo this year too. <laughs> exactly. Oh my god. I just I just I just love I just love like this looks really good as a remaster. I'm like, if oh my god. And life. you get turbo it really mode. Does. Yes, turbo <laughs> mode? Yes! Oh, took a speed run, oh my god. Yes! I'm deeply wondering if they're going to also make you a touch up pool. Not the graphics, but the cutscenes as well. I wonder how much remake we're Ooh. getting. Coming in 2025. That will be interesting to see. Yeah, 2025. Oh, oh yeah, here comes the super. Like, look, man, I'm, I'm gonna be honest. <laughs> I'm gonna be honest with you guys. I'm gonna be honest with you guys. I feel like every double A game, every double A uh, JRPG or like cult RPG has the best pre-order bonuses ever. And I mean best not yeah. you rip your pocket off. I swear to God, it's so good. <laughs> and very seldom is it more than two hundred dollars, so <laughs> Yeah. And it's a good price point generally. Yeah. I mean, like I, oh god. I think without the figurine I believe, um, was it Disgaea 5, or Dis no, Disgaea, um, 7, uh, Virtue, uh, Vows of the Virtualist? Yep. I think without the figurines, it comes under, like, 120, without, uh, without tax and shipping, without tax and shipping, it depends where you live, but it comes, like, <laughs> under 120, without figurines and stuff, like, gee, that's, that's a steal, unironically. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I always get the, uh, the limited edition versions of like the trails games and they're usually like 99 bucks that's a steel book so you get the game you get the steel book you get like an art book you get a soundtrack you get some other odds and ends that show up some of the art stuff or like other keychains postcards or even like with reverie we actually got a full-on book with it yeah i've 
I think, oh god, not I didn't buy, I didn't get Reverie Physical. I bought Reverie Physical for my brother so he could play in his PS5. But I think they also gave you a sticker pack. I think. Yeah. Yeah, mm. the sticker pack. Yeah. Because that my, my brother's like, what is this? Like a sticker pack. Hello, Wait, David. take it. My name take is it. Zap. It's yours now. <laughs> <laughs> but honestly, this looks really good. I definitely, this looks a, a lot more optimized than I thought it would be. I thought it was going to slap some, you know, new artwork all day, but you can actually see the difference. You're going to port it over. <laughs> yeah, exactly. You simply minded your own business as I was. I'm so excited. I'm, I am, like, not only is XC back with Falcom doing something, but it looks like it's a solid remaster of refining and optimization for newer consoles, making it look like it is how good it is. Plus, we get the voice acting and the turbo mode, something that is notorious in uh, Falcom games now, where turbo mode is almost like a must-have. <laughs> oh god, if I, if I had to do a bunch of side quests in town and have to run from place to place, I'm turboing. Coming I'm in 20 20 oh yeah. yeah. I think also, too, to be uh, super cool, this super cool about it, I like, deeply like, is that, like, for, Ye uh, for Yeast and War was coming out, is that if this does well, I think it will. I wonder what's down the line for other games that remastered. Exactly. We, we, as we said earlier, yo, uh, Trails in the Sky, please remaster that. For the yes, please. Game. Yo, remaster Geese Origins, Thank which I really think is a banger. That's literally yes, TV. please. <laughs> and and the, the thing that makes it so good, in my honest you opinion, is that I want to go up in cutscenes, but here's like necessary. here's the thing, right? What was the last time we ever got a Falcon remastered? They they just gave us ports of old games. This is about this is this. I mean, the closest <laughs> one we got would probably be the the Crossbell arc, because those were technically remastered. Technically, yes, yes. <laughs> yes. And and for those people who like the OG version, maybe, maybe oh by the way, I don't even know if they're gonna redo the OST, which is you know that's dope too. Redo the OST, it'd be great. Yeah. So, yeah. If you are one of those people who Coming just like the OG version of the game, it's already available. You can just go to options and switch to OG. Don't worry about it, bro. We, you can keep the, if you want to be the purest form, you can play it. <laughs> it's nice to have options. <laughs> it's nice to have options, yeah. So Hello, I'm, I'm deeply excited to try this. Uh, more. I like in my in my mind, it's like I like in the future, you know, hopefully in this channel, I will play a Geese game start to finish for you guys. And you just me gush about how much to me, Geese is the quintessential, like, action <laughs> RPG for action RPG lovers. I like, I really yeah. respect it. Like, even the older ones, I would say, just play Origin Upwards. I mean, seriously, Origin Upwards, I mean, it's very serious. Because it's like, it's a classic tower beat of it, and that's what you get. And then you, and then we got Geese 9, 10, 7, etc. And, and, and now we're going to get Nordic, which is, you know, Pogma, you know. Which also, you know, yes. But, and for people who are a fan of like the newer DC games, go back to try this out. Like, yeah, like this is not an open world. Like, yeah, we were an open world back in the day, but this is also as cool as cool too. <laughs> open world wasn't as popular back then because it was harder to do. <laughs> it was, it was. But oh my god. But yeah, I'm definitely excited to try it out. Um, um, I think, obviously, you know, once they confirm that it's, all, I think they confirm it's gonna be on everywhere. But oh my god, I can't. I literally cannot believe. Hello there. This is my what they're doing. Zach. This is what they were cooking. Yeah, this is what they're cooking, and I'm grateful they were. Yeah, oh my god. Like I said, I hope they remaster some other Christ titles as well. Again, Trails of the Sky, please remaster that. You have no idea. <laughs> like, Trails of the Sky to me, you even though it's like a decade plus old, it is, the, it is literally the best of the series. It is the quintessential one to understand why people love Trails of series. Yes, yes it is. Yeah, and then you can play Cold Seal and think about what you did. <laughs> <laughs> no, but unironically, man, from Sky to Cold Steel, nothing gets Cold Steel. That was such a shift. I'm like, uh, what's this? What is this? What is this? Where's Estelle? Where is, where is she? Where is she? Yeah, that, that was definitely a shift. And it, I mean, ironically, it was probably a shift a lot of people had just because the Crossbell arc didn't show up here for as long as it did. So people went from Sky to Cold Steel, and there's a whole arc in between that had slight shifts, and then Cold Steel happens, and it's a humongous shift. <laughs> exactly, yeah. But then we got then we got Lori, and you overcame that barrier, which you know I I I, 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 have, I have to say the Crossbell arc is pretty hoggy wonky. I'll definitely give that one up. Yeah.
Yeah, now we gotta wait. Now we gotta wait till daybreak, and then we get you to meet uh, man, your man, own our favorite, who, our blue, our blue, our blue jacket boy. <laughs> yes. <laughs> a very special birthday boy. But no, I. I <laughs> God. But all to the side though. Uh, Geese Memoir is a good Geese game. It's like, again, if you it's a very quintessential life, old school I one. It plays very excellently. It, if you never played an old school ARPG, this is the way to go. I can't, I, you definitely should get the remaster. And I can't believe, again, the, the stars are lining up. Exceed's like, I got this. What do you mean you got this? I got this. So, you know. <laughs> Coming in we are on the proper timeline, finally. We're in the Maybe. good timeline, exactly. <laughs> oh, God. So with that out the way, uh, thank you guys so much for uh, checking out us rant about the, how, how hypeness, what this means for uh, Falcom games going forward, a potential remaster for classic games to be played out. Yeast from War is a great addition to the Yeast games. To me, it is up there quintessentially to, and I do mean this classic to Yeast Origins, it's right up there with it. The fact this game offers a remastered mode and a classic mode is great. We ha we don't know if anything else will be remastered, such as the music and the artwork. But either way, I'm excited because, oh my god, they're actually doing something with the older Yeast titles. that let them sit in there and be purchased on Steam. And then people make, make enhancement mods to the game. Quotation marks. <laughs> Yeah, definitely quote, quote there. <laughs> yeah, quote that quote there. But honestly, though, I'm, I'm super excited about this, and I can't, I'm happy that, like, I, because, again, NIS, NIS Falcom has been a very great relationship for NIS, uh, for Falcom. It's been a great relationship for them, right? Yep. And with that relationship, I, I think Falcom, I'm sorry, not NIS, uh, yeah, um, NIS has, like, pumped out, like, five plus games. Yeah, they've been pumping out games off the wazoo the last few years for them. Right. And it's, you know, because of that, we got, the, you know, for, I'll, I'll let it rock. You know, we got the crossbell arc. So, you know, that that's that's a win. <laughs> yes, it is. So, and then we also get in Daybreak. And it's like, I, as much as I'm cool with NIS, you know, ha touching the properties, I think it was a good idea to offer it to a pre to the previous, uh, the previous publisher. Do it. Because it's like to be super fair, to be super fair and smart about it, the previous team did it. Because it's like NIS is doing a lot. They are essentially dragging, like pumping out all the the modern Falcon games to the states. They are publishing their own games. They're selling the merch. They're running the merch store. They are attending every convention known to man, <laughs> anime, gaming, etc. They're everywhere. Scott mentioned that. What are they going to be at? What anime expo? <laughs> Yeah, there'll be an anime expo this week. So <laughs> yeah, there'll be an anime expo for God's sake. So it's like the fact they have one less project to worry about is a good thing. And to, and yeah, to, and let's be fair, XC did not drop the ball for any of the yeast games. So no, nope. you know I trust them. It wasn't like they gave it to like you know their their, co their cousin Timmy who just graduated. Like oh no, please don't. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's not it's not like uh, we're getting some a random other publisher that, to get on the ball with Falcom. I'm kind of happy it's Exceed. Yeah, exactly. So, so we we know what to expect. They know what to expect, and it seems like Falcom might be either a little more easier to work with, or they just have their expectations set. <laughs> yeah, I think I think also too it's like, um, like I, I guess. You know, mo from a monetary standpoint, I'm thinking like it's just a lot cost effective to let XC have it, split the pot, you know, the revenue from it, and call it a day, rather than like getting out, upload the like you have to go through XC, get all the stuff, and then give it to NAS to do it. NAS is like, all right, I'll do it. All right, I'll do it. <laughs> Seriously. <laughs> oh god. But also, man, it's it's so good. So I'm pretty happy about that. Without the way. That is our take of our opinions of Yeast from War, which is a great game to be remastered. The what we think the future of the company, uh, you know, of what is going forward means, and how hyped we are, just generally about, you know, yes, <laughs> what this means for just for Falcon fans. Like now, like help, let's put it this way: you can give these games to newer Falcon fans because they don't have to be like, oh, this is too retro. We have a remaster. <laughs> don't worry about it. Yes. <laughs> God, that'd be so cool. Um, I'm just so excited for Memoir, and I'm excited for the future of, like, Falcom doing this. I really hope 
Um, you know, they make announce more remasters and more like remasters or even remakes. If hey, that's so spicy. Maybe a remake <laughs> will be okay. But yeah. Oh dang. <laughs> yeah, that's a spicy. Maybe a remake, but I'm happy either way. So without the way, uh, Scott, you have any final words? I am pumped. I am hyped, and I'd want to see more work with Exceed and Falcom going forward. Yeah. Yeah, I'm excited for that too. So with that way, thank you guys so much for checking out our trailer reaction, our thoughts of you know NIS, Falcom, Exceed, Geese, Trails of the Sky, the whole nine yards. We're obviously we're fans of the series. So without the way, we'll see you guys in the next one. And remember, before you leave, subscribe to the channel, hit the bells so you don't forget the content, and we'll see you in the future. See ya.